This is our virus overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing human T lymphotropic virus, or HTLV, which you can see right here. This is also sometimes referred to as human T cell leukemia virus. This scene takes place back during the time of castles and knights. As you can see, front and center, there's a noble knight with a two-sided flail shaped like a T. The T-shaped flail in the knight's hand should help you remember that this is an image about human T lymphotropic virus. Now we've added this well to the scene with a pulley that helps lift the pail of water up. Pulleys work by someone exerting a force in one direction, which then causes the pail of water to move in the opposite direction. In other words, it moves in a retrograde fashion relative to the force. So we'll be using a pulley to represent retroviruses, and HTLV is a retrovirus. Retroviruses have the enzyme reverse transcriptase, which allows the virus to convert its RNA into DNA, which can then be integrated into the host genome. Okay, before we get too far into the image, pay close attention to the background. Notice that the sunset is a warm pink color, which means that HTLV is an RNA virus. Next, notice that we've added a line of people who are waiting to get water out of the well. This is a rough time of year, so the townspeople rely on the king's support for water. Because the water supply is so valuable, the king has wisely placed a loyal knight to protect and distribute the water. The line of people waiting for water should help you remember that HTLV is a linear virus. Also, we won't show any parallel lines in this image, so you can assume that HTLV is single-stranded. So the RNA structure is linear, and single-stranded. We also won't show any naked people in this image, so you can assume that HTLV is enveloped. 